Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the monthly reads. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see how the month of May is going to be for the sign of Gemini. I will add oracle cards in this reading. I will add uh, charms as well in this reading and I will also uh, tap into some messages coming from your person as well. Uh, how do they see you or feel about you? Maybe we're going to tap into that as well. So stay tuned for all of it. And while you shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's dive into the read and let's find out how the month is going to be for Gemini's. Let's start. The Magician. Wow. Seems like you have pretty much all the control of your life right now. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you are aiming for, you have all to get it all, whatever it is that you want. Um, this can be a vibe that you are in as well uh, right now. Maybe there are things that you want to achieve and you believe that you can have it all because you are the co-creator of whatever it is that you want. So uh, you can create the life that you desire with the with the with all that you have, with the power that you have. You can make it happen, especially when it comes to your love life area. I do see that you know there will be a sense of uh, determination that you will be having. That you know you can you can you know if you love a specific someone, you can make them fall in love with you. If you want something uh, from a specific someone, you can make them do that for you. You will be feeling very empowered that way. For some of you, you might be getting a position. Uh, at work front which is going to make you feel now you have all the authority that you always wanted to have so maybe for some of you you can experience some sort of a raise or promotion in your work front as well which is also going to make you feel like you know now you are you know now you got it all so yeah let's see more cards here uh the temperance um as you get that as you as you experience some sort of power from within i would suggest you just make sure that you stay grounded make sure you don't lose your your uh you know um stay generous stay stay positive to other people around you make sure that you don't uh, start looking at the people around you from a different perspective because now since you are up there so you you look down upon the other people don't do that especially if you are gaining some financial gains maybe you need to you know work on that a bit maybe you have a chance uh, you have a tendency of uh, you know uh, start getting maybe arrogant around it or no especially when it applies to your work scenario maybe make sure you stay humble and positive to the people around you as well so um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wow i feel like you know financially this month is going to be one of your lucky months uh, of this year because I, I don't know why I'm picking up abundance, financial abundance more than anything else in this, uh, you know, uh, in these two uh, cards here. Let's see more cards here. Uh, then we do have nine of cards. You're getting it all, whatever it is that you want. It's, it's so easy for you to have it. Now, I would suggest you to keep yourself protected and safe from the evil eyes of other people around you. Because since you're getting it all, maybe the people around you might have like a you know, bad intention for you and they don't, they, they don't, they might envy you. They might get jealous of you. So there will be that vibe coming from other people around you. Why? Because you're getting it all so easily without putting much of effort. At least that's how they see it and how they feel about it. So make sure you, you keep yourself protected and safe from evil influences coming from other people. Maybe they will feel like, you know, um, jealous of you and make sure that you know this jealousy coming from them doesn't affect you much uh in a negative way so maybe you need protection uh around whatever area it applies to like you know if you are feeling good about your love life right now maybe you need to keep it to yourself don't don't like you know shout and tell everyone out there that i'm getting this i'm getting that keep it to yourself the more you keep it to, to yourself the more you are going to be in that zone the moment you share it trust me it's all gonna like you know I don't know it's, it's all gonna go shatter so make sure whatever it is even if you are getting a promotion keep it to yourself or don't share it with anyone I would suggest you not to share it with anyone um, your friends maybe you have frenemies and you don't think that you know this person would mind or you know this person would uh, dislike you getting promotion but you don't know what's going on in their heart about you so I feel you have frenemies around you you have people who envy you there are people who are jealous of you so make sure you protect your happiness right now and keep it to yourself only i do see you getting a lot of happiness in the month of may so but keep it secret keep it to yourself don't share it with them you know don't share it unnecessarily then we do have knight of pentacles you will be feeling very stable in the month of uh, 
in the month of May. This this month is going to be a game changer for you. You know, it is going to change your life forever. The things that you have been trying to manifest, the things that you have been trying to work towards, you are getting it all. Like, you know, be that in love, work, home life situation. So this is going to be one of the lucky months for you, for sure. Uh, you are going to transform yourself. You are going to change the way you look at things. You are going to change your personality, maybe. You're going to you know, you're going to become a different you. It's all because of the abundance that you're having in your life now. And you are attracting and you are in that space where you are attracting more and more of it. If you if you love someone, if you want to reconcile with that specific someone, that person will come back. Not just that, you will have something beautiful to start with that person. If it applies to your work life, if you wanted a job, not just that you're getting that job, but you are also getting increased salary as you were expected. So there is a bonus coming to whatever it is that you are getting. It's, it's like, you know, additional stuff is coming positive ones towards you in this month so it's going to be a very lucky month for you but again make sure you keep yourself protected because people are having evil eye and they do have jealous feelings towards you or towards whatever it is that you're getting so to keep it protected make sure you don't share it with unnecessary people or even i would i would suggest you even if it's a reconciliation situation with you make sure you don't share it with anyone just keep it to yourself until unless it, it uh you both are ready to take it to the next step uh, next step because otherwise it's all gonna go away and even if you look back to the times when you reconciled with the same person or you got back together with the same person maybe there you can you can feel that every time you shared it with anyone like you know it can be a family member as well but don't share it any with anyone until unless it manifests uh to the you know outcome that you want let's see the last card here three of cups you are going to be the happiest in the month of may which is a beautiful energy to have i need the deck we do have ten of pentacles yay nine of cups and ten of pentacles you are going to feel very stable happy content in your life in the month of uh may now <clears throat> hold on if you are single you have a strong chance of getting your wishes fulfilled um in your love life maybe somebody stable is going to enter in your life which is going to make you feel good happy positive if you are already in a relationship and it was struggling uh things are going to get better there whatever area that you have been having struggle and working towards things are you are being rewarded in that particular area it can be any it can be different for different people for some of you maybe it's going to be a financial situation which is improving for others of you it's going to be a love situation i do see you very happy emotionally fulfilled uh you know financially abundant so it's going to be a beautiful uh month for you know all of you out there in one way or the other for some of you maybe it's going to be financial abundance for others of you maybe it's going to be like you know stability that you're going to feel from within uh overall in your life because of something beautiful coming your way in the month of may now let's see what the other cards have to add okay so you are one sexy bitch maybe your person is going to feel like you know you are somebody who who turns them on like anything and it's like uh, they are very attractive towards your hotness i am super possessive about you your person is going to be very super possessive about you now if you believe that uh you you want you know you you uh if you want your person to be possessive about you i would suggest you to think of those thoughts because you are the magician whatever you create in your mind you will be able to create it and see it reflected in your reality so make sure you use it uh i want to kiss you maybe your person really wants to kiss you and i am the happiest with you your person your love life is definitely going to be improve, improving but for majority of you i don't know why but i'm picking up like you know it's going to be more of an abundant month when it comes to your financial situation let's see the last card childish non-serious flirtatious non-committal indecisive unstable for some of you maybe you are enjoying the singleness right now in your life maybe if you are not ready to commit to anyone maybe you're ready to explore what else can you do other than your love life situation so maybe you are focusing on your work career and all those things and enjoying that phase of your life where you're feeling stable where you're not depending on uh, you know other people for your happiness and you're good with with yourself as well but even then too i feel like you know you are going to be becoming magnet to the the hot guys and hot girls out there because you are vibing so positive it's it's like you know you're like a magnet to to good things and abundance let's see what else do we have time you are trying too hard give it time now if if you have been uh trying so hard in your life i feel like you know the moment you let it be and stop trying hard and you know just allow things to happen that's the time when you're going to start experiencing this situation now if you have been trying to manifest somebody in your life maybe you were overdoing things the moment you let go of that 
everything works out for you so just try that if things are not working well for you or if things are slow and you know um uh, stagnant for you try doing that try to relax yourself a bit and the moment you do that everything will start pacing up then we do have our oh, love is beautiful i feel like you know um if you have been very unstable uh connection with your specific someone it's the stability and the balance is coming back in the connection time to move on for majority of you i feel like you know it's, it's more of the single energy that i'm picking up but if you have been having any issues in your love life work life it's all getting resolved your life partner is yet to enter in your life i feel like you know for majority of you you would be single watching it um have faith in the unknown the unknown is bringing you a lot of abundance for sure let's see one more card from this deck and we are yet to take the charm so we do have two cards let's read both of them receive be open to receive goodness believe you are worthy of abundance and the gift is coming to you very soon that's exactly what i said uh, something beautiful is coming your way celebration a positive outcome is uh, assured celebrate your success enjoy your achievements wow i feel like you know, it's going to be one of the best months financially for you you are going to be achieving a lot of abundance and happiness when it comes to your financial career goals love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i i do see for majority of you it's going to be the month where you're going to be enjoying yourself your abundance your happiness your success with the people that you love and care about now as you do so as you could create a balanced life when it comes to your finances you can create the life that you always wanted to create you will get um a boost in your confidence that you know when you can manifest something good in your work and career zone then definitely you can manifest something beautiful in your love life as well but for majority of you i feel like in you know, right now your prime focus is yourself you are not trying too hard to get a specific someone or reconcile with a specific someone you are taking your time out to work on yourself and the moment you do that that's the moment that's the time when everything works out well for you um let's see the charms on let's see what the charms have to add to the beat but i do see you with getting your wishes fulfilled for sure you are getting rewarded then we do have three alphabets v s e it can be your name initial name initial of the person that you are dealing with uh then we do have five of wands and queen of wands if you have been having a lot of stress around something it's time for you to take that stress out of your life it's time for you to have faith in the unknown the unknown is bringing you a lot of uh, abundance for sure for some of you you might have recently broken up with your specific someone and now you're focusing on your work and career and if that's the case trust me your person does miss you and they do feel that you know um they they used to be the happiest with you but maybe right now it's some it's their time to get into some karmic thing so they could realize your worth and then they will come back but it's time for you surely to enjoy your life and abundance that you are getting for some of you you or your person could be related to uh, uh, the the because it's a hospital so maybe you are medical you know your field is uh, something to do with the medical maybe you or your person um so yep and uh, try to try to uh stay positive and happy and uh, don't indulge into anything which which uh makes you you know sad or uh, upset about anything and i don't see that happening but for those of you who can who, who are still trying very hard maybe it's uh, it's time for you to move on it's time for you to stop doing the things that you have been doing and stop loving yourself and valuing yourself more than anything else so yeah this promise is coming up for you for the month of may if the reading resonates with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal lead you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box and uh, yeah till i do the next reading for you guys it's time to say bye-bye <clears throat>